Hello everyone and grade 9 students, uh, especially to my to the sections that I'm handling. So today I'm going to discuss about the vertex form of quadratic function without using the completing the square. So for example, this is our quadratic function. We will convert this into its vertex form. So first, we need to identify the letters A, B, and C. So our A here is 2, B is negative 4, and C is 5. So we need to use the formula of H and K. So our formula for H and K is negative B over 2A, and for K is... C minus B squared over 4A. So we will just substitute all the values of the letters here. So for H, you have negative, substitute negative 4 to B over 2, and then substitute 2 to your A. So this becomes positive 4 because you have two negatives. And then, over 4, 2 times 2, this is now equal to 1. So, your H is equal to 1. What about for letter K? So, your K is, uh, substitute C, which is 5, and minus substitute B, which is negative 4, squared over 4 times substitute A, which is 2. So this is now 5 minus, square this, it becomes 16 over 4 times to 8. So what is 16 divided by 8? That will give you 2. So 5 minus 2, so the final is 3. So your vertex form for this, you will just substitute letter A, letter H, and letter K. So your vertex form is y equals a which is 2 quantity x minus h. So copy x, your h is 1, so minus 1, copy squared, then your k is 3, so plus 3. So this is now your vertex form without using completing the square, so we just use the formula for H and K. What about this one? So our A is negative 1, B is negative 4, and C is negative 5. So again, we will just use uh, the formula for H and K. So our H is negative B, which is our B is negative 4, over 2 times our A is negative 1. So our H is negative times negative becomes positive 4 over 2 times negative 1, negative 2. So since you have different signs, 4 and negative 2, just divide it, the answer is negative 2. So our H is negative 2. And then for K, so for K, K is C minus B squared over 4A. So our C here is negative 5 minus our B is negative 4 squared over 4, our A is negative 1. Okay, so K equals negative 5 minus a square of negative 4 is 16 over over 4 times negative 1, negative 4. So, divide this, 16 divided by 4 is negative 5 minus negative 4. So, negative 4 times negative becomes positive. So, K equals negative 5 plus 4. So, since different sign, you will get, uh, you will subtract, then get the sign of the highest absolute value, which is negative so, K equals negative 1. So, again, substituting here, your A, your H, and your K. 
Your vertex form now is y equals your a is negative 1, so negative. No need to put 1. Okay, then copy x minus your k, your h is negative. So times negative becomes positive 2. Then your k is negative 1. So this is now your vertex form for y equals negative x squared minus 4x minus 5. So we did not use completing the square. Instead, we just used the formula for h and k. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the video. And then put the comments below on what have you learned from this video. Thank you.